Well, we're doing the, the Pitbull Explorer style guitar and uh, I've got the neck glued in here and clamped up for 24 hours. One thing I want to point out when you're doing these, um, make absolutely certain that this is flush inside of here uh, because if you if you bottom that tenon, that's a long tenon, see that? I got a bit of a gap there. Um, make sure you measure it properly. Look at your uh, 24 and 3 quarter inch scale length. And when you do that, it will make these flush. And that way you'll have room to fit your pickup ring in there. Otherwise, you're going to have problems. I've seen guys that have built these kits. And what they did is they uh, bottomed out that tendon joint there and they had a problem and they had to shave their uh, the actual pickup ring so keep that in mind when you're doing it uh, anyways we're starting off on a nice project this one's going to require quite a bit of sanding work and a little bit of shaping on the neck and uh, we'll show you that as we move along day one on the Pitbull Explorer kit Okay, we've got two coats of uh, double boiled in linseed oil rubbed into the finish on this mahogany explorer now and look at that grain Isn't that a beauty and I also put a coat of linseed oil on the fretboard And the headstock we're going to sand that down a little bit more and we're going to paint that black I believe Dark fretboard, very smooth. Frets are pretty nice already. Won't have to do too much to those, but oh, look at that green. That is beautiful. And we'll put one more coat of linseed oil on uh, the guitar, and then we will start to do the electronics. That is a beauty. And here's just a quick look at that grain on the back of uh, the Explorer uh, after two coats of linseed oil rubbed into it. I just, I could not be happier about that grain. I mean, that is so beautiful. Neck joint there turned out quite nice. Pretty happy with that. And there is, in fact, a scarf joint, uh, which is fine by me, because it's actually uh, stronger than just straight wood. So anybody crying about scarf joints, don't worry about them. They're absolutely fine. I've had guitar necks break near the scarf joint, and the scarf joints survive, so that should say something. But that is a beautiful piece of mahogany. Okay, that's two coats. Maybe one more. We'll see. All right, we got the uh, first few coats of black paint on the headstock, but I will be sanding that down and uh, putting a couple more coats. Okay, we're going to uh, line the cavity and the uh, cover plate here with uh, this Elk brand copper foil tape, dual conductivity. So what that means is uh, when you overlap it onto another piece, the adhesive is conductive uh, so that you'll get a full continuous shielding or a Faraday cage uh, to protect from uh, electromagnetic waves and keep the buzzes out of your guitar when it's plugged in. So just rub that down real good. And then we'll trim it off with the scissors. Just like so. Oops. That's a little awkward. Get rid of that piece there. And there we go. We've got the back plate shielded. And we're going to put some more in here. <clears throat> the next piece, when we peel it off, we want to make sure that we overlap the new piece 
on both of those so we get continuous coverage. So let's try this. This stuff wants to roll up on itself, so you have to be careful. Let's see if we can get that in there. There we go. It's a bit finicky, but it's well worth doing this because it shields very well. Okay. There we go. Uh, oops. I really didn't want to do that. Okay. And we'll just fold it back. And I like to leave a little bit of extra overlapping here so that when I put the cover on that these two pieces will make contact and then it's a full Faraday cage. Okay, we'll finish that off and then we'll move on to wiring. And you can see we now have the cavity completely lined. Our back plate is covered. Got our holes all punched through. Time to start soldering. Now I'm going to uh, use some of my own parts. This is the pots that came with it. I don't know if we can focus on those. Just mini pots like most uh, guitar kits come with. I'm going to use these ones. These are uh, Music Lily. There's the part number. M289-2FBA and those are uh, B500K pots full size if you can see see if we can get that in the shot big difference I like using full size pots but you know the small one they'll, they'll work fine but uh, and these are both B's uh, I hear that Gibson is using B style uh, linear pots and a lot of their guitars now so I'm going to give it a try usually use 1B and 1A um, but we're going to try using both 500 KB pots see how that works out so we'll set those down there um, on the bridge pickup I'm going to upgrade it I've got this one for the bridge and it has adjustable pull pieces, uh, unlike the ones that come with the kit. They're, the kit ones look like they're pretty cheap pickups, but I'm going to try one in the neck. But I bought this for another project, didn't use it, and I like the cream. So we're going to use that. And um, this, if you're interested, this is, again, it's from that brand, Music Lily. And here's the part number for the pickup, an M427. And uh, all of this stuff I've got on Amazon, except for the guitar kit itself, which I found on eBay from Pitbull Guitars. They also have their own website. So we've got that. And uh, this is the switch that came with it. Uh, it doesn't look like an overly expensive switch, but it's, uh, it's solid. So it feels like good clicks. So we're just going to use that. And... Uh, Hopefully it'll work out. It should be fine. And to get your wiring instructions, you go to the pitbullguitars.com and uh, you can print out the wiring diagram for any guitar that you're building. And we've got that. And then for uh, the aftermarket pickup that we're going to install, and I have used these before, these... these uh, Music Lily guitar pickups, and they are really, really good, and they're cheap. They're like less than $20 Canadian when I purchased them on Amazon. Anyways, and that's the wiring diagram there for uh, for that one. Okay, let's get soldering. And on one of them, we'll bend this tab over to the chassis. And then we will be soldering that right to the chassis and grounding it. And on the tone pot, put a capacitor to the middle lug 
and then sort of the other leg of the capacitor to the chassis of the pot. And I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter which way you do it. I don't think they're, they have a polarity on these ones. Okay. Okay, we've got most of our solder connections done here. We've got our capacitor in place. Just down over to this side there. Uh, there's our switch. We've got a few more connections to do. And uh, these wires here are our pickup wires, which will get uh, grounded and sent into the switch. So, um, that's one more step. Oh, and we've also got uh, our jack soldered in place. So we're getting some progress here. And now I'll screw the pots on, tighten those down, put that one tight, and we're moving right along now. I shouldn't really be using pliers, but this is what I got handy. I'm smelling those ones. Okay. And we'll just flip this over so you can get a look. need to uh, finish uh, screwing the jack in. I'm gonna have to pre-drill that so I gotta go find my drill and then uh, we'll give her a quick test before I close everything up make sure that I didn't make any mistakes. Okay let's put a couple pilot holes in here. Line that up by that ball. Pretty good there. block that so you couldn't see those. And uh, we'll just put a couple in the top here for the back cover. Well I shouldn't say the top, I should say the back. And the last one. Here we go. Switch our bit over to a Phillips. See if we can get those to go in nicely. And we'll be blocking the view again. Yeah, we'll put our final screw into the back plate. And that's that, and we will move over to the front of the guitar now. And we'll mount the pickups, just a couple little pre drills there. Get started. This side. And we'll finish up putting the screws. I'm going to do our pickups to hold them down nice and tight. And uh, I did end up using the stock pickup in the bridge position uh, just so that you can uh, see what the guitar gives you when you buy the kit. The only exception that's not stock is 
is I did put the uh, different pots. I put the full size pots in there. Um, but I thought we would give the stock pickups a try. Um, I'm probably going to change this one out because I know I have that other uh, music lily pickup that I really like them. They're they're a very good pickup. Um, so we'll go give her a test and see how it works before we go any further. And we don't want to forget our shiny new knobs. There's one. There's two. So we've got our volume knob. We've got our tone knob. And we've got a three-way switch. And the way that it fits into the cavity, I had to put it in so that it kind of works like that, which is fine. So when it's back in this position, we've got our bridge pickup, forward position. We've got the, the neck pickup. And in the middle is both pickups. All right, let's go give her a test drive. Okay, now we will open our uh, strap locks. Now we'll do our strap buttons. There we go. I'm trying to do this maneuver one-handed, which is a very bad idea. There's one. And I did, in fact, uh, pre-drill these buttons. There we go. that not bad I would say we've got an explorer maybe just a little bit of fine-tuning okay it's time to try our pitbull guitars explorer guitar kit uh, set neck mahogany body real nice guitar took a lot of work to put this one together uh, the skill level is, is fairly high on this one. You're going to need a lot of special tools, like you might need a router to open up the uh, cavities a little bit for the pickups. Um, you're going to need to be able to solder and stuff like that. But these are all skills that you can develop if you don't already know them. Uh, it's a great project and well worthwhile. And uh, you end up with a very nice guitar for uh, around 300 bucks or less if you got a fucking American dollars. Um, so let's give her a try. I'm just going to play the same piece uh, over a couple times here with the uh, the different pickups. So here is on the neck pickup. <laughs> quite a challenge when you're setting that net boy do your measurements three or four times first to make sure it goes in right because there is a bit of room in there uh it's not it's not just stick it in and hope for the best or you won't end up with a good guitar but if you take your time measure uh it's it's a very worthy project i'm very happy with this one uh in my case i spent quite a bit of time shaping the neck to my taste uh, I rolled the fretboard over on the edges, so it's very comfortable to play. This uh, plays as nice as any $1,000 guitar that I've ever had, uh, but it, it did take a lot of work. So, anyways, uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll leave you with a little jazz piece here that I wrote years ago. Mm.
everybody. We'll see you all next time. Please like, subscribe, and share.